Yo, I'm Master Fisher, and today I will tell you how you can get the best sim racing experience ever at your home. So first we have to decide for a game. And I know the F1 franchise from Codemasters is maybe the biggest and most famous racing game. But if you really want a good sim racing experience, hmm, it's not the best for that. It's more than an arcade game. But I suggest you iRacing. It's a completely simulation with only laser scan tracks, not like F122 with some pretty bad tracks. If I think about Montreal or Austria, the first two turns that are awful and in Canada the Wall of Champions chicane. Ah, I hate it. It's so bad, but in iRacing it's perfect. Not only the tracks and cars are better, but also the feeling that you get from your wheel is so much better. And yes, I know iRacing is quite expensive because from the base version you have just a few cars and a few tracks and then you have to buy each car and track on its own. If you focus on formulas, you can buy Formula 4, Formula 3, IndyCar and the Mercedes F1 car that are four cars which you can have a lot of fun in iRacing. Then you can buy a few tracks that's enough for the beginning of iRacing yeah and it's the same price as three years of Formula One game. In my opinion iRacing is the better choice for that if you really want to like to have a good sim racing experience. Yes it's only for PC iRacing but yeah that's how it is. And yes, iRacing is more for the hardcore sim racers, but then you have such a big selection of settings that you configure for each of the car. It's so awesome. Also for the Mercedes F1 car, you have, I think, four or five um, settings for the ERS. And it's not like in the old F1 game where you can switch around every corner that you like. No, you have to stay in the mode for one lap. If you choose to recharge your batteries, then you have to stay in this mode for the lap. And then you also need a good monitor to see the visuals of the game because you don't have the feeling of the body which is connected to your car so most of the things are the visual things and of course from the feedback from your wheel but the visuals are pretty important for sim racing and if you need a good gaming monitor i can recommend banky to you if you want to know how to win a mobius gaming monitor from brand stay tuned i will tell you later in this video since a few years i'm now using BenQ monitors for racing and i'm absolutely happy with them so it's a pleasure that BenQ supports this video the BenQ EX2710U is a 27 inch 4K UHD monitor with 144 heart and 1 millisecond reaction time, which is pretty important for racing games. So first you need this high refresh rate from the monitor for smooth gameplay so you can follow the action on the racetrack closely and without any interruptions. And the one millisecond picture response time is important for racing so that if you turn right or left so that it happens instantly also in the game. If you want to turn right you want directly the car in the game to turn right as well so that's perfect for racing games. The monitor has an IPS panel with HDRI for better visual colors of the game. The monitor is also equipped with 2.1 channel speakers by Tree Volvo, so you don't need headphones all the time. If you sit directly in front of the monitor and you're racing, it really feels like you're in the car with the sound around you. The monitor also has an HDMI 2.1 port so that you can play 4K with 120 hard at your next gen consoles. I'm absolutely looking forward to play on my PS5 with this monitor with this high resolution and refresh rate. Check now the links down in the description for more information about this monitor and how you can buy it. But now I will tell you how you can win a monitor. For that just check out the link in the description with the giveaway. Then you come to the website of BenQ. All you have to do for that is go into any need for speed game that you like into the configurator just configurate a car that you really like post a picture from that on instagram tag bank you and then you are in the bound for the giveaway i wish you the best of luck and now we continue with the video
The next big important thing is the wheel. For two years I used the Fanatec CSL and now I switched to the Podium DD1 which is a direct drive wheel and the feeling that you get from that is again whoa, so much better than, than from the CSL Elite wheelbase and then in combination with iRacing oh my god it's so close to reality because in august i drove a formula 4 car at the nürburgring and it's so close to that that's epic because this direct drive you just have a better feeling of the car you really can feel it if the back end wants to step out under braking or turning in and then you can correct it and then you also need good pedals i have the fanatec v3 pedals with the load cell brake which is pretty important that you can have a good feeling on the brake and also the game makes a big difference in braking because i always struggled in the f1 game with locking from the front brakes but as i started i racing i had instantly a good feeling for the brake especially for the formula cars it's so much better the feeling that you get from the car and also from vibrations in the pedals and in the wheel and if you now want to get even one step further you can use vr and recently i did my first time vr in i racing and i was mind blown It is so close to reality, like I said, I drove in a 4 car at the Nürburgring and it's so close to that. Um, I will do a video also on my first time I racing in VR soon. That's really the most realistic sim racing experience that you can get at home. I know there are some motion rigs, but be honest, who has a motion rig at home? It's not so realistic then. This combination together with VR is more realistic and also the community in iRacing is so much better because in F1 online lobbies you always have these crash kits. There are some in iRacing, yes, but if you get higher with your safety rating there are almost none because everybody wants nice, hard but clean racing and you have that in iRacing, I can tell you. I'm, I'm so in love with iRacing right now, I hope it continues till i retire sometime i don't know but yeah if you enjoyed this video leave a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't check out the links in the description to the giveaway of the bank monitor and the links for more information at how you can buy a monitor check them out and then i will see you soon